The Flash from the comics and the Flash from the show look a little different. It's understandable when you consider that the creators of the comics and the creators of the show don't usually agree about what the characters should look like. So, that's why we've created The Flash, what the characters should have looked like. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 15. Godspeed Godspeed is one of the fastest speedsters in the Flash universe, and he looks a lot like the White Power Ranger. But let's move on to some of the more important aspects of the character. We first have to talk about the striking resemblance between the comic book Godspeed and the show's Godspeed. They're both white with yellow lightning bolts, even those earpieces are the same. The only difference is that Godspeed from the comics has yellow eyes, while the one on the show has black. And we can't forget about the white lightning trail that the show's character leaves behind. It seems like the showrunners weren't too impressed with gold like the creators from the comics. Number 14. Jay Garrick Oddly enough, Jay Garrick was the first version of the Flash that appeared in comics back in 1940. The hero had received his powers after inhaling some hard water fumes. After that, he made a costume from blue pants and a red sweater with a lightning bolt in the middle. The iconic symbol of Jay was his metal hat with two wings on the sides, inspired by the Greek messenger god Mercury. And the show pretty much kept the whole look. They just replaced the pants and the sweater with a zip-up leather jacket with chest plates and biker pants. What's he preparing for? A battle with you. Why me? They're threatening his power. Number 13. Gorilla Grodd One of the smartest beings in the universe hasn't been portrayed like the true king he is. Except for the fact that he's a gorilla that smashes that like button, which you should do if you haven't done so already. But no. He's the smart gorilla with a headset. Everything else was wrong. Just look at this golden suit of armor Grodd's wearing in the comics. Now, compare that with the cheap metal armor he's wearing on the show. Something just doesn't add up. Number 12. The Thinker While the comic book version of The Thinker featured an intelligent being with electrodes sticking out from his head, The Thinker on TV was much different. He was portrayed as this cool-looking mad professor that could destroy anyone and anything thanks to his brain's immense powers. And when you replace the electrodes with a power-absorbing chair, you just can't go wrong. Plus, the actor that portrayed had some of the best body language in cinema history. Just look at how gracefully he kills all of those special agents. Number 11. Reverse Flash This villain is the complete opposite of Barry Allen, literally. While Barry wears a red suit with yellow lightning bolts, the Eobar Thawne wears a yellow suit with red lightning bolts. And if you look closely, you will notice that Barry's lightning bolt on the chest is actually yellow with a white background. Thawne's lightning bolt is red on a black background. And they kept pretty much all of this in the show. However, there seems to be this persistent fascination with leather. So that's what Eobard was wearing instead of the spandex suit. That's right. 15 years. The second time, I've been stuck somewhere against my will for 15 years. Number 10. Blood work. Blood work is the reason you shouldn't mess with dark matter. While consuming the blood of his frightened victims, the Flash had to put a stop to him. And even in the comics, he's been known to manipulate everyone around him by controlling their blood. And both the comics and the show had their version of that nightmarish looking monster that we'll never forget. However, the show did add one more superpower that the comics version didn't have. It's his ability to control the blood of the individuals that have already died. Number 9. Zoom No one thought that Zoom would be rocking a black leather suit on the show. And who knew that his lips would be sort of melted together? This is the comic book version of Hunter Zolomon. This is the TV show version of Hunter Zolomon. We're not even kidding. From a speedster in a yellow suit with red horns and black goggles, we have a completely black speedster. Even their lightning trails weren't the same. The only thing they kept similar was the fact that both of these were the arch enemies of The Flash. Never forget. Number 8. Captain Cold This is another supervillain that partnered with Heatwave to defeat The Flash. Heatwave is also included on this list. More about him in just a moment. Now, 
Let's talk about Captain Cold, the guy that wore a blue snowsuit with white fur. And of course, the look was completed with the blue rectangular goggles. The modern version kept the general look of the hero, but with a modern twist. They replaced the blue snowsuit with a long winter's jacket with fur. And of course, the rectangular goggles were replaced with round ones. Number 7. Wally West Wally West, also known as Kid Flash, has been sidekick numero uno to the main hero. He even continued Barry Allen's legacy once the Flash died in the final issue on Crisis on Infinite Earths. However, the character is not completely the same. They kept his honest and good-natured personality, but they did add a leathery costume with the same color patterns, yellow top and red pants. The biggest difference between the two versions is their connection to Iris. In the comics, Wally West is the nephew of Iris, whereas on the show, Wally is her brother, hence the African-American actor. Number 6. Heat Wave Bring in the construction worker supervillain. While the comic book version of Heat Wave looks much cooler with that white asbestos suit, the tons of pouches and of course the iconic rectangular goggles. On the show, however, this guy was wearing something more suited to his time and not at all stylish. He looked like an actual construction worker or a welder. I mean, did you see those rounded heat blocking goggles? Number 5. Vibe This is one of those rare occasions where the fans like the TV version of the character more than they did the comic book version. And we understand why. The vibe that appeared back in the 80s was basically a clown with superpowers. He had broad shoulder pads, a open V-line costume, green goggles, and red boots. The only thing missing was a big red nose and curly green hair. As for the TV show version, Cisco Ramon has rocked those futuristic goggles for opening portals to different universes, the leather jacket, and the wrist gauntlets. They were cool AF. Number 4. Killer Frost In the comics, Killer Frost was a physicist that fell madly in love with Professor Martin Stein. She was then turned into the chilling Killer Frost. But then her colleague, Louise Lincoln, took on the villainous persona and became a sworn enemy of the Flash. In this show, however, she goes from being part of Team Flash to being one of the villains, and then to being their friend once more. And unlike the icy face and blue hair in the comics, on the show, Killer Frost has white hair with gray eyes. Number 3. Savitar If they didn't keep the name, we would have thought that metallic blue giant had nothing to do with the comic book version of Savitar. You see, in the original comics, this villain is portrayed as a cyborg human that leads a cult dedicated to the Speed Force. He has a golden mask and giant golden rings on his arms. Plus, he's shirtless all the time. And unlike the show, he has no ties to Barry Allen, except for the fact that he wants to kill the guy. How they connected the show Savitar to Barry Allen from the future is beyond us. Number 2. Iris West Just like in the comics, in the show, Iris West is Barry's love interest. She's a journalist, and she knows that her husband is actually the Flash. But there's a slight difference between the two. Unlike the comic book version, Iris from the show found out early on that Barry Allen is actually the Flash. And of course, we have to talk about the casting choice. Seeing how the creators of the show wanted it to be inclusive to all races, they cast Candace Patton, and this caused a little bit of uproar. The comic book Iris was white, and Candace is African American. However, when fans saw the powerful performance the actress gave on the show, people forgot about her race altogether. Number 1. The Flash and now, we come to our final pick, and the fastest speedster alive. The biggest difference that the Flash from the show and the Flash from the comics has is their costumes. You see, every season, the creators come up with a new costume version, and until season 6, Barry's costume usually looked more leathery instead of the spandex version featured in the comic books. Another thing we have to note are the golden wings on his ears and boots. The show version just didn't have them. They had something resembling wings, but it wasn't the real deal. The most striking disassociation between Comic Flash and Show Flash is that Grant Gustin lacks the blonde locks and blue eyes that the comic book version has. On a related note, we want to know if you have any other characters from the comics that look different on the show. You can tell us in the comments section below. 
If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.